know who you talking to, pick a one. Yeah, y'all. One LVC. Back with another video. Shouts out to my sister, Lisa Cabrera. Kendra Sappho. My brother, Joe Johnson. Poogie Jenkins. Uh, Rama Ra. Let me see who else. I got the shout out. I got the shout. Oh, yeah. Wanna shout all y'all out. And Anthony Ford. My man. Also, my homie Raymond for looking out for me for the LeBron video. He he appreciated that. I appreciate all y'all who donate to the channel. You know, I appreciate that. Anyway, let's get into it. So this despicable human being you see is Clay Travis. And Clay Travis got the LVZ suspended for 12 hours on Twitter because of this weak-ass tweet I said. Where I didn't want to get suspended, so I just put this up and told him to fall off a fucking cliff. Now, this Clay Travis, why did I decide to go at him? Shouts out to my brother Say Less Sports, my brother uh, Ticket TV, and others. LeBron James has been, especially Quest X, who's been doing a lot of good videos. I'm proud of him because he's normally not a LeBron fan, but right now, Quest X, this how you looking, my man. Proud of you, Black Power. Anyway, look, real talk. <laughs> Quest, stop laughing. Real talk. I love y'all. We need to know who our enemies are. This Clay Travis, I went at him on Twitter because he has a history of his racist white supremacy and nobody clapping back at him. And I had to go full-fledged two feet on him all the way. I can't see what he replied to or what he said. So I suggest y'all go to Clay Travis at Twitter and get at him and let him know that that probably wasn't cool. And if you block and call a Twitter police on people, some of us screenshot it and show their YouTube following. <laughs> anyway, um, so LeBron James did a video since he's been on vacation with his son. He's been hanging out with his kids, which a good father should do. It was Taco Tuesday. He did a video, Taco Tuesday, with Anthony Davis and his wife and all of them. And he was having fun. Well, this did not sit right with Mr. White supremacist Clay Travis, who is not Mexican, but has a problem with LeBron James talking about Taco Tuesday and says, Social justice warrior LeBron James mocks Mexicans. Imagine if we were mocking a black voice and was eating chicken. How outraged black people would be. Do you know how many black people act like, I mean, white people act like they're rappers? Who is it? My bad, y'all. But yeah, look how many... White folks mimic black people as rappers and TV shows. Shit, you still got people running around in blackface and nothing happened. But I noticed he had called LeBron a social justice warrior in that uh, video that Say Less Sports did. Y'all go check him out. Just subscribe to my brother Jeff, Say Less Sports. Anyway, I noticed that. When Jeff did that video, that um, he called him a social justice warrior, and Jeff said he really wanted to call him a nigga, and Jeff was right. He really wanted to call him a nigga, and I had to look, and then he showed the DeMarcus Cousins tweet that this guy made where he said in 2010 that I guarantee in five years, 100% uh, DeMarcus Cousins will be arrested. Okay, well, he hasn't been, so since that's the case, 
that racist son of a bitch owes Demarcus an apology and what he owes us uh, as the black community an apology and he should step down because he is not a journalist if this is what he's wishing and predicting upon people. And FS1, Fox Sports shows you exactly what they're made of when they hire pieces of garbage like this. And then Twitter to go and back them. You understand? Look, Twitter is saying that what I'm saying is wrong. This man has attacked black people. If you look, he's, made, he's another one who makes his money off attacking the black athlete. And he was doubling down what Jason Shitlock said. Another despicable, disgusting waste of motherfucking air, skin, and bone matter. And most importantly, food, eating up all the food, all the chicken, all the hog moths. That's him. That's what this is. When, I, when Cube wrote that, he was thinking about Jason Whitlock, double neck ass. Anyway, this Clay Travis individual, Slim. He is a piece of shit. <laughs> okay? That's who he is. And these are the type of voices that they give white supremacists. I'm not surprised, you know. I'm not, I know I sound a little upset, but really, I mean, I know this is par for the course. And like my brother, Quest X said, this is an obvious target. This is an obvious target by the media to assassinate the character of LeBron James and his run by white supremacist bullshit artists who have made their living off of doing nothing but critiquing LeBron James. And I want to give a shout out to Dan Patrick for being honest enough just to call this out. Somebody had to do it. And you know what? It was really good to see somebody else call this shit out. What the hell? I oh. didn't see it that way. I thought, oh, that's funny. LeBron's out there dunking. You know, be, my only negative reaction was, it'd be nice if he did that in a dunk contest. That's all. But he's, he's with his son. I got Taco Tuesdays. I mean, he's, he's there. It's the off season. He's with his son. He's with his family. Man, there are other things I could be critical of LeBron or somebody in that position who wasn't around their family. But he got excited. I mean, his son dunks in a game and gets excited. He's out. Okay, should he be out there in the layup line? Okay, maybe not. But maybe it's a really cool thing for those players on his, his son's team. It's, I don't know. If, I just didn't see it that way. But people are making a living on criticizing LeBron James. There are times when I've been critical of him, but very few times. And when it comes to being a parent, he's there. He's in the moment. You know, I don't care what background. I don't care what race. I don't care. I, as a parent, you're there. And as a parent who wasn't there for 15 years because of my job and I missed out on that, man, I'm envious that he is there. I don't know if you can be there too much. I don't know. But, but you know, I've embarrassed my kids before, but I embarrass them because I love them, because I'm out there with them. You know, they may not like what I say publicly or I give them a little grief or you dance with your daughter or whatever it might be, but being there that's the most important part of all of this that I saw. And I just don't know if Jason Whitlock truly thinks that, that, that this fame is as addictive, if not worse, than cocaine. I'm not sure if LeBron goes, you know, honey, or he's talking to Maverick Carter. Oh, I got to help out my brand, man. It's taking a couple of hits. I got to get some followers here. How do I get some followers? Layup line 
with your son and throw down some slams? Yeah, that'll do it. I don't know if it's that calculated. Do I think LeBron went to Los Angeles with ulterior goals, motives? Yeah, I do. But I, I'm amazed at how many people are critical of LeBron James. Look at all the, he's done a lot of great things. Did I have a problem with the way he left Cleveland, the decision? Yes, I did. And I was critical of him. I mean, even the way he left the Miami Heat and Dwayne Wade, Pat Riley, yes. Even going to the Lakers, we all saw it coming. I was fine with it. He gave Cleveland a title. He went back to Cleveland to win a title, even though he had an owner who said a lot of critical things about him. And he still went back. He built a school. You know, he's paying for college education. Making it out of him. <laughs> yeah, I am. LeBron James School. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the name oh, after okay. yourself. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't name it after uh, Zedrunas Ogalskis or somebody. <laughs> but I, I just, I am amazed. And I think Skip Bayless is a great businessman. But I don't, I don't think, he's a performer. I don't think that he truly has this much venom, vitriol towards LeBron James. I really don't. But, hey, he moves the needles. You know, when you're watching these shows, and I told you, I challenge you, how many times they talk about the Cowboys and LeBron James? As much as they possibly, that's why they hope this Zeke Elliott holdout doesn't end. Oh my God, what are we going to talk about? They can talk about Zeke, they can talk about it forever. LeBron, talk about it forever. What happens when LeBron retires? Does Skip Bayless retire when LeBron does? <laughs> he announces his retirement the same day as LeBron does. Yes, Paul. I'm just curious if Drew Brees were at his son's football game and decides to warm up the wide receivers and throw some balls to them, or or Peyton Manning went to his son's football game and the little kids are like, "Hey, Mr. Manning, can you warm us up and throw some balls?" Would it be front page lead of the show? Look at LeBron. Look at these guys making it about themselves. Same thing. With and that's what it's all about, right there. That's really what it's all about. Anything that they see a strong black man who is empowering his community, making moves in his community to better his community, they got to tear him down. And they will use the media to use you to tear him down. And you will start talking about insignificant shit. Because the media chooses to cover him every day. LeBron James would be minding his business. Like I said the other day, LeBron James could sneeze on Cheerios and the media make it make you mad. Why the nigga violate Cheerios like that? Michael Jordan used to sneeze on Wheaties. See LeBron old bitch ass. See, they will do that. And, and this pathetic white supremacist piece of trash has the nerve to chastise and ridicule our brother for the relationship he has with this son. LeBron, go ahead on, man. Go on, have fun with your son. Do your thing. Fuck with anybody talking about. Because at the end of the day, like Dan Patrick said, you are there. And that's what matters. One LVZ, man. I'm out. The problem is not with the crack, Mr. Hannity. The problem is with the cracker.